Okay, uh, grade 12 today, I want us to discuss inverses. So far, we have dealt with functions and graphs in grade 10. We did functions and graphs in grade 11. We did functions and graphs. But now, I want us to look at the inverses, the inverse functions. The inverses that we are going to look at or that we are going to talk about today, we will look at the inverse of a straight line. We look at the inverse of a straight line. We will also look at the inverse of an exponential graph. Exponential. And also the inverse of a parabola. Now, let us start from a straight, from a straight line. We know that the straight line has a standard form which says y is equal to mx plus c. So before we go to inverses, what is a function? What is a function? A function is a relation in which at least one element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of a range. So what am I saying here? I'm saying not all graphs that you can sketch are functions. Now, since we want to learn which graph to is a function, as long as you can identify, or as long as you can determine the relation between the domain and the range, then we'll be able to tell whether a graph it is a function or not. Now, I'm pinning the foot. What is a function? I'm saying a function is a relation in which at least one element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of what? Of the range. Now, it means for a graph to be considered as a function, it's either the mapping or the relation between the domain and the range will be one-to-one -one or it will be a many-to-one. What is this one-to-one -one and what is this many-to-one? It means if I say one-to-one, -one, what am I saying? I'm saying if the input, if I put one value of x, if that value of x will give me only one value of y, then that graph will be considered as a, a function. Or if the relation between the domain and the range is a many to one. What is a many to one? A many to one is saying you put more than one value of x, but those values of x over fagile will give you just one value of what now? Of a y. So I'm pinning the foot. If the relation of that fun of that graph is a one to one, then the graph is going to be a function. If the relation of that graph is a many to one, then the graph is also going to be a function. But if the relation is a one to many, then that graph is not going to be a function. Also, if the relation is a many to many, then that graph is not going to be a function. I guess if I would say, see, one and one to one, see, one and one many to one, or see, one and one to many. And pin a foot. Explanation I'm telling. A function is a relation with at least. So if I'm saying at least one element, it means you can put one or more values of x, but as long as I'm going to get exactly one value of what? Of a y. Umuteka, these two relations here, I'm saying they are functions because there's only one value of y, there's only one value of what again? Of y. But with this one, different values of x, you are far, and you find only one value of y. Now, you only put one value of x, and you find only one value of a what's there of a y. I don't want to listen to So if I take a graph and I say my graph is y is equal to 2x plus a 3. Now this y equal to 2x plus a 3. Is this graph a function? Now we must check. Since you check a graph a function, since you have an instrument, it is a vertical line test. If vertical line test is 7 Zaranjan, we are using an instrument, a series of the vertical line test. If seven Zaranjan is a vertical line test, if vertical line test is 7, this is a check. We will take graphy to Nabizo by Nina, a function. I guess in this morning, we must move a little graph. This is a straight line. Let graph man have a way book, man has to say, clever, the roughly. He created a to lap in Jan, a positive. 
wabu saying this is graphics where we graphing jana increase i why why intercepted you but now you three so rough you can say graph is over him and generally right now i just check out the graph the gap is over any function then we use a vertical line test woman where but will i know vertical we think that i'm going to graph him Umege lo lai no vertical. If this vertical line test, if this vertical line touches the graph only once, it means that graph is going to be a function. If a vertical line touches the graph only once, it means the graph is going to be a function. Now, it means let's say get that with oh this one will be function. Why is it a function? Go be vertical line. It's hit again in in a graph here. Therefore, it is a function. Now, what type of a relation is here with a graph? Well, we know what the vertical line touches only once. I guess check the horizontal line test is also done. If I draw a horizontal line test, what is happening here? The horizontal line test now touches the graph again. How many times? Only once. It means here yeah, the relation of this graph is going to be what? A one to one. In the bang it's one to one. Go be vertical line test it's in the gang. The horizontal line test at it and therefore this is a one to one. So if it is a one to one, who should tell who the graph I'm is over you now? A function. Oh, which let graph lay this equation here. Yeah. Yes, child, which this graph is going to be what now? A function. I guess check here. Let me see. Graph is y is equal to two x squared. See graph in the end. If graph is y equal to two x squared, we know what this is a parabola because here we positive and we understand what the parabola is of the big group in a pezul is of the turning point in the bar in the pagi origin. So if we draw the graph roughly, we have a graph in a simple way. I guess check here with let graph not be so by in your name in a function. So the rule I know more vertical. Oh, this vertical line touches the graph only once. Therefore, this graph is going to be function. But if so by name a ping in John, then I can use what now? A horizontal line test. Now what is happening? A horizontal line touches cut. Hey, you do. I mean, it does kill it. It does. Okay, so this horizontal line test touches the curve how many times? Two times. So if this curve, if this line horizontal touches my curve two times, go to a vertical eating again. So what type of a, a relation are we having here? We will have we can put different values of what of x to get only one value of what of a y it means the relation here is going to be what now a many to what now to one what did i say about a many to one i said a many to one is a, a function let me repeat this concept again a vertical line touches the graph only once it means the graph will be a function what type of a make thing is there? Then you draw a horizontal. A horizontal line, it's in the right graph. Yeah. If the horizontal touches the graph more than once, then we can say it's a many two. This one, if vertical line, it's in the right graph. It's in the right graph. But move away graphly. If vertical, it's in the right graph. It's in the right graph. It means the mapping here was a what now? Was a one to one. I just check a circle. Let us say we are given a circle. Let me just say, if my circle is that, now did it mean or check whether this graph here, this circle, is going to be function or not? Now let us check the vertical line test. What is happening now? It touches the graph at two points. Now, if the vertical line touches the graph at two points, it means that graph is not going to be a function. Now, check out. What, let's just check the mapping. If I draw a horizontal line, it is a full horizontal cabin. So, what type of a mapping is here? The mapping that is here, it's a many to one. Why is it so it's a many to many? Why is it a many to many? The horizontal line test touches the graph more than once. The vertical line test touches the graph more than once. So we say it's a many to many. What did I say about a many to many? A many to many is not a function. So this here is not what? A function.
So as long as we are able to draw a vertical line, if it touches more than once, the graph is not a function. If it touches once, the graph is going to be considered to be a function. So it's very important that learners are able to tell whether the graph is a function or not. Now, I guess if we have a value, it's here to learn how do I sketch the inverse of a graph? There's only one way to sketch the inverse of a graph is by reflecting that graph along the line, which says y is equal to x. So if I go back to that equation there, which said f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. I want us to sketch the inverse, or maybe before sketching the inverse, let us determine the equation of the inverse of this graph. How to find the equation of the inverse? You reflect your graph along the line, which says y is equal to x. Now, if I reflect this graph along the line, which says y is equal to x, what is going to happen here? It means whenever I see y, I'm going to put an x. Whenever I see x, I'm going to put what now? A y. That is how you find the equation of the inverse. Now, let's do it here. It means x, I will put y, I'm going to put what now? An x. But go x, I'm going to put what now? A y, then this is going to be plus what? Plus a 3. Now, remember, we don't leave equations in this form. We always make y the subject of the formula. It means now, I can move a 3, so that I end up with what now? With 2y, which is equal to what? x minus a 3. But there's that 2 now, it means I can divide by 2 on both sides. Now, if I divide by 2, I'm getting y, which is going to be half x. Divide by 2 again here, this is minus what now? 3 over 2. It means the equation of the inverse is going to read as y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 3 over 2. Now, what is happening here? The notation for the inverse, this is the notation for the inverse. So this means here, this here is the notation for the inverse. It means the inverse a graph a b we graph gamma ka f. So as long as you see this notation, this notation tells you this here is the inverse of the graph of what now? Of f. So what is this inverse of mine? I got 1 over 2x minus what? Minus 3. And this is my inverse. Now, as if you are to take the graph of f, let us try and sketch the graph of f. If you sketch the graph of f, we can use the dual intercept method. It will be a graph that is increasing with a y-intercept there. We are getting f a 3. We can even check what is going to be our x-intercept. Remember, to, to get to x-intercept, we make y 0. So if you are to go to f of x and put y 0 and solve for x, you will get the value of x to be what now? A negative 3 over 2. Now, if my x is a negative 3 over 2, now this, what, this, what, this is what I want you to notice here. I want us to go to the inverse and sketch the inverse again. Remember, this is f. So for the inverse, the y-intercept is a what now? Is a negative 3. So it means I have a, neg I have a y intercept so is a negative 3 over 2. So here I have a, a, a y-intercept, a negative 3 over 2. But what is my x-intercept now if I take the equation of the inverse? So if I solve for x here, if I put y 0 and try and work out the value of x, it means I will put a 0, then move a negative 3 over 2, then divide by what? By half. I am going to get the value of x as a way you are you 3. Now, do you realize what is happening? If I draw this inverse of mine, this is what is happening now. Here, you know, three. As Cassandra Sama Grafway two, Lama Grafu Mwabuka, Mikubega, Lena, Mikubega, they will intersect somewhere down there. Now, so even if you notice a general manager, who have my y intercept was a zero and a three. But we inverse, what is my y-intercept? It's a 3 and 0. So this point was a 0 and a 3. But now, la, so I put delta in, and it's a 3 and a 0. Just look at the x-intercept of this graph of f. The x-intercept was a minus 3 over 2 and a 0. But the x-intercept is a machine to you. Let's say we in the panel inverse now. Say we y-intercept. Here in the Bangela Young, and then to the Uguti, to sketch the inverse or to determine the inverse, we reflect the graph of f along the line which says y is equal to x. So in the analysis of LCNs, if you want to coordinate arm, 
Ekrafka F. Kotwa ngi funtola ini minana. The inverse yam. Vele uswap. Ama velu zika X no Y. So if venye pende ti 0 and 3. Velu shinche ege manje ubo ba manje na. U 3 and what? And 0. That will be a point. Gwe inverse yako. If when you put it minus 3 over 2 and 0, it means if you swap, if you interchange x and y, that point sends over, send it to negative, so it's 0 and negative 2 over 2. Send over here in the banana, you are intercept and pin the foot. These graphs, oh, if I were to draw this graph uh, correctly, carefully, based on intersector somewhere, la polama graph a intersector corner, here la po corner goes over good lula, u line, lo line, lo sibiza, and a line of cement. It is line of symmetry am na. It is y is equal to x. So if we come back, if we to draw this graph, and we come back and show that the intersect somewhere, la po be intersect a corner. That is where this line, it is y equal to x, will pass. So the woman have said this zoom in. We expect something as over it again. This is what we are expecting to see if we are trying to draw this graph. Logo zobe gu f, logo zobe gu in goto na we inverse. And umu table of symmetry ako izobe zula la apaya etinta na kona. And this equation it is y is equal to x. This is your line of symmetry. So here in front of us observe na in the balegi la uti. To sketch the inverse of a graph, we reflect the graph along the line, which says y is equal to x. So, the language in the an informal language will be to say interchange x and y. If we are to zoom in with the graph, we zoom in with the graph, we zoom in with the graph, we zoom in with the graph. Where here am I x-axis one, am I y-axis. And this is the graph of f, and that one is the inverse. Here in my look at the, um, I'm going to talk about the graph for my bill. On the same set of axes, and we are born with the lama graph as an intersect. Change is what as an intersect. We are going to change to intersect a group. The choice of versa this line here, the line of symmet. The line of symmet will pass through where these two graphs intersect. What is my line of symmetry here for these two graphs? It is y is equal to x. Remember, you reflect f to get the graph of what now? Of the inverse of f. You reflect f along what? Along the line which says y is equal to x. So every time, every time you are to determine the inverse, whether you are to sketch or whether you are to determine the equation, what do we do? We reflect the graph along the line which says y is equal to x. In a formal language and pin the foot, you can just say we interchange what? X and Y. So um for number coordinate, it means uba ngabe ngwaza ma coordinate e graph f. So ngifuna ukumina ma a ukweba e graph inverse. It's very simple. Take the known coordinate interchange x no y. One must interchange it and then plot those points. When you plot those points and sketch the graph, the graph that you are going to get there is going to be the inverse of the graph of what? Of f. So that is how we obtain the inverse. In the exam, they will ask you how to sketch the inverse or how to determine the inverse of f. And your answer must say you must reflect the graph of f along the line which says y is equal to x. Now, I want us to look at a different equation now, but still on a straight line. I guess, let us say, give me a straight line now, SCT, g of x. It's a g of x is equal to x plus 2. So this is my graph of g. Now if the first question was to say to me, determine the inverse of g. Determine the inverse of g. Remember guys, how to find the inverse of g? We reflect g along the line which says y is equal to x. It's in land, it's in. La kubona konu y farabani, u x. La kubona konu x farabani, u y. I guess when z like graph kakche, si kubona konu zegan. So, u g value me lu y, so I'm putting x. But u x value me le bani na, u y. Then la pasen se no bani ge, nente ganji. But again, in zapin, I say she equals in yet im ganji. We need to make y the subject of the formula. So if I solve for y here, I'm getting u y, only ngana no bani manje na, no x x minus what? 2. What is this x minus 2? This is the inverse of what? Of g. 
Now, I guess we I guess such a craft catch, see it web, see it in a certain verse catch, see it in a certain but it's a lot of text is a key. So, um, I'm going to give you a cutters and penyam. I know what you cutters and penyam, genan la paya, genama x axis, cotta la pangina, nina, genama y axis. If I use G, let's start from G. Who G? Let us agree. The y intercept of G is over it, zero and a two. So it will pass through that point. Elu bana, elu two. Then what is going to be your x intercept? Make y zero and solve for what? For x. So if I put a zero here, it means your x is going to be what now? A negative two. So somewhere here, I have a point LT, and it's a negative two. And if I join. These two points, I have a graph of what now? Of T. But now, inverse kg, I see it back. So I don't have to stress. I know this point kg. I know that point kg. So what will be your inverse? Take the very first point, interchange x and what? And y. What is this point here? 0 and 2. So this is a tiny point, this is a inverse now. We need to 2 and 0. Now, put this really here. This is really somewhere here. Let's see what? 2 and 0. You take this one, ever delete negative 2 and 0. Interchange, this is a tiny one. 0 and negative 2. Who will put on negative 2? Who will be point in Lapaya? Lapasin no basin negative 2. Well, if you join these two points, you will come to Lapamanda now, inverse. Now be careful about these two graphs. If you look at G, the current of G was a 1. But if you look at the inverse of G, the grade is still what? A one. These two graphs when our intersecting, these two will not intersect. Why? Because when I'm a gradient, it means these two graphs will always be moving parallel to each other. So all of symmetry one will be line a hambala. Y is equal to X. So if the question says sketch the graph of G and it inverse on the same set of axis and indicate the line of symmetry. This is my line of symmetry, this is G, and this is the inverse. So I'm summarizing the initial. It means if you're able to determine the coordinates of G, you do not have to recalculate our coordinates, our banana, our inverse. What you can just do is to interchange x no banana, no y. After you interchange it, you have a point among our banana, our two. Then you take those two points, we will plot our one to get what? The graph of G. So, as not to say, we graph got G, low or a day y intercept. We must see how we invest. We figure out the y in the x intercept. Bamba, low or a day x intercept. We must see how we invest. We figure out the y in the y intercept. We y intercept. I hope. Can you do x intercept? So, we y intercept. Can you do y intercept? So, we x intercept. Now, since we move very much, I want us to move now and go to the exponential graph. The exponential graph here is, is, is very, is very, is, is a very nice graph, but now you must be very careful how you treat that graph. Now, our exponential graphs that you are going to look at in my inverse are the exponential graphs of the form y is equal to a to the power of what? Of x. Before we can just go to the inverse now, if the value of a is greater than one. What is going to happen? If the value of a is greater than one, the expected graph is going to The expected graph is going to be increase. That's what I know from the exponential graph. Okay, if you look at this exponential graph here, we have an asymptote. What is the equation of this asymptote? It's a y is equal to zero. This is the equation of the asymptote. See how the graph there. If the value of a, Baba, if the value of a in a negative one, go to in cool one banana, one zero. What is going to happen? We are going to have a decreasing graph. 
these two things must be known umuzegzo balulu to be graph yako umanga ewa me mkulu mno one the graph is increasing umanga ewa me between zero and one the graph is going to be decreasing okay angbuge la kisa ubani asimtoti ya amu kisa zobe yu y equal to zero ngobangi tata from y from y equal to a to f of x remember la pakonu plus ba u plus zero even though it is not shown it means my asimtot is what now is y is equal to u zero so if you are able to recall what the graph is increasing, it decreases. Mm -hmm. It decreases. Mm -hmm. It decreases. Mm -hmm. It decreases. 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 It It means what is the coordinate of the y-intercept here? I'm not graphing around it. It's what you give out x of zero, and I'm getting a y-value, which is a what now? Which is a one. Okay. Let us now look at the graph. If now I give you the equation, which says f of x is equal to three to the power of x. Now, before I even start to sketch this graph, saying you have one root, oh, here the value of a is greater than one. So the value of a is greater than one. It means I'm expecting an exponential graph in general now that is increasing. So it means if saying here we cut as an linear, saying here as value, this is x and this is y. So what is going to be this graph here? It will be an increasing exponential graph. But what is this point here? Remember, this point here is our y-intercept. How do I find the coordinates of the y-intercept? By making x be equal to zero. So let us go to f. If I go to f and put x zero, it means I will have what? y equals to three to the power of one now of a zero. What is three to the power of zero? It is a one. So what is my y-intercept? It is zero and a one. So my one intercept is what is a zero and a one. So what is this point here? It says zero and a one. Let us just choose a point. This is a plot. Any point. Say we choose x equals to a two. So if x is equal to two, if I take a two and replace x with a two, I'm so going to get y, which is three to the power of what now of two. What is three to the power of two? That is a nine. So what is this point? If you make x a two, you are getting a y value, which is what now a nine. A point which says two and a nine, so I just somewhere like it in your point now two and a nine. So in a graph, I'm going to f. If you look at this graph. What is the domain of this graph here, the exponential graph? The domain of this graph is going to say x is an element of real numbers. But what is the range of this? Remember the range, the y values for which your graph is defined, or the y values for which your graph exists. So if you want a graph, this graph here does not exist from U0 going down. So what is going to be our range here? It's going to say y is greater than greater than what? The asymptote. What is my asymptote? It is zero, so the range must say y is greater than what now is zero. Buga. It means if you know what is f, then you must be able to determine or to sketch the inverse of what of f. How do I sketch the inverse of f? Remember, to sketch an inverse, you reflect the graph along the line which says y is equal to x. It means if you reflect along the line which says y is equal to x, it, 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 it's like we are interchanging what now? x and y. So if you take the very first point, which is this one, this point will be 0 and 1. So we invest in the point again, point one and zero. So if point lam says we are going to point it up until now one and zero. 
Ubi ne penalty eliti two and nine. Lizo tini ke leli point win versi am interchange. Lizo tini nine and two. Umu bugi penalty nine and two. Sengal pia wale lo point is implemble. Lizo beli Samuel la city ni tini nine and two. So ya bonu kuti leo graph uzo kuni leo graph uzo bimanch. Ipo ni lam gilbe ge la pani tini tini na nine and two. Kadli la tini lona ni tini one and zero. If you notice that now, the, in, the graph of F was increasing, right? What is happening to the inverse as well? It is increasing. We exponential graph. If the graph of F is increasing, we exponential graph. The inverse is increasing. It increase. So it means the graph is the graph is the inverse. But the graph is the F. Where is the line of symmetry? The line of symmetry always passes here. And it is a line. It is in a, it is y is equal to x. Right. It means if I were to change this equation now and give you the equation at f of x is equal to 1 over x. I guess you will have notice of the range. Still. So it means if I give you the graph of f, exponential graph, which says f of x is 1 over 3 to the power of x now. This is still an exponential graph. But I can see that the value of a here is between 1 and the what? And the 0. Now, because the value of a this year, 1 over 3, is between 1 and the 0, what it means about this exponential graph here, it is going to decrease. It means we know what here will have a decreasing what? Graph. I guess it will be a graph graph. So if I sketch this graph here, I know it will be a decreasing graph. Graph that is an asymptote at y equal to zero. The asymptote of this graph will say y is equal to a zero. What is my y intercept? What are the coordinates of the y intercept? Remember, to find the y intercept, you make what? You make x be equal to zero. So if you put a zero, you're going to get a point L W T zero and a one. Let us find an additional point which lies on this graph. Pick any value of x. Let's say I pick x equal to a negative 1. So if I put a negative 1 instead of x, I'm going to get the y value, which is a 3. It means this point will be somewhere here, the little negative 1 and what? And a 3. This is the point. I just picked a negative 1. You can pick any value of x. So if you put a negative 1, I'm getting a y value, which is going to be what now? A 3. And this is the graph we are having. Now let's just catch the inverse. Don't stress, just swap the point. Interchange x and what and y. It means this point here is saying 0 and 1. So in our inverse, what is going to be this point? It will say 1 and 0. So it will be a point somewhere here, it is 1 and 0. This point, everything negative 1 and a 3. If you interchange, this is 3 and a negative 1. So if you 3 and a negative 1, 3 could be here, negative 1 and a balance. So we have a model in So if you turn these two points, look what is happening. Uzwane graph is of image. Let graph a camera. Let graph a nige manjagele. A inverse. But the other graph ka ban li anana ka f. In the full we notice na. Go f. I asymptote am bit y is equal to zero. But because we inverse must we interchange to x and y, it means you are going to know y equal to zero is my asymptote. It means for the inverse, susu y equal to negative manje na x. It means the asymptote of the inverse is obviously negative manje na x is equal to zero. I'm pinning the foot. La asymptote here to the y is equal to zero. So we must say we inverse. What is going to be the asymptote is obviously x is equal to zero. Uzo hamba kanda ulano simet, ulano lua la presenta, origin, sorry, uzo be uti y is equal to x. That is your line of cement. I say it why is there with you must have a graph way to must have a graph where f in the inverse of code. Say it and give you a line of cement. Says it why is there a line of cement. Let us, we must get used to this. Let us show the line of what now? Of cement. Bugag, I want us to get the domain of f. For f, for f, it domain is a t. Is a t? X is an element of real numbers. That is for f. 
is a tiny range ka f bu graph ka f e graph ka f ithola kala kuphi na above its asymptote what is the asymptote of the graph of f it y is equal to 0 therefore what is the range of f is of 80 y is greater than what 0 as book ek inverse for the inverse let's look at the inverse what is the domain of the inverse do you see what the inverse of this graph can only take amma values are x and are positive this graph is not found on this side where the values of x are negative therefore the domain of f is going to say x is greater than what in zero now but if you look at the range the graph of f will take any value for what for y therefore the range of this graph is going to say y is an element of real numbers this is my domain and this is my range notice sir ku f x is an element of real numbers was what was our domain but uma ngabubuka i range yami sive nyathini y is an element of real numbers i domain ya i range yami bithi ni range yami y is greater than 0 so if you range it y is greater than 0 what is then going to happen here i range ya shinta is open uka ibe yina i domain then how this works when you know x is an element of real numbers with domain kwa shinta ka shitu x kafaku y kwa ba yina pa i range Bengi na y is in zero as my range. Kasusu y is in a universe na fara ban manje na u x. Kwa ba yin yo na it domain. Ogu shogu ti. Uma ngabu wa zit domain na f. Uma ishi di domain maso u universe. Uye nzegu be yin na the range. Maso su sabane ge manje na u y. Yin e bang alok. But to move from f to the universe, you reflect along the line which says y is equal to x. So la mna kono y susu y ufa u x. La kono fu x fara ban ge manje na u y. So mang susu x in fara u y. Upuma lian tu segu in leona segu range umang susu wai ng fagu x segu puma loko segu in lia manjena segu i domain now now that we are able to sketch the graph of f and its inverse no, don't stress just interchange the points now that we are able to sketch we are able to see the domain and the range of f let us now find the equation of the inverse of f now let us find the equation of the inverse of what of f i guess the first graph as it is casile bt f of x is 3 to the power of what now to the power of x so if i want to determine or if i want to give the equation of the inverse of this graph of f remember what do we do we reflect this graph along the line which says y is equal to x now if i reflect this graph along the line which says y is equal to x it's in the end of it long bala konu y in your father about x long bala konu x in your father about it why ascend it so so why you forget about x so so no x you forget about why so this is the equation of the inverse but we need to change this now see pale it y is equal to something it must say y is equal to something kusho kuti zoma kanjani ke lapho then we need to introduce amana amalogs now if i introduce amalogs here this is going to be y is equal to log of x base 3 log na log kuya fan exactly ukuthi la senga nje bana u y the subjects of the formula let us ifunda kanda nje ti y is equal to log x base what base 3 lo 3 ka te vele i base we explain the piece of exponential form usayindo wa 3 la phana na usayi base ngoba ngabe senga ifunda ngithi na log x base 3 so log base usazo be base means to y is equal to then say log of x base of 3 it means uma ngikinikeza le ebithi f of x is equal to 1 over 3 to the power of x and ngithi kuwe determine the inverse of f determine the inverse of f we don't stress we know what to do what do we do here we reflect the graph along the line which says y is equal to x it means where we see y we put what x where we see x we put what y this is my y put x is equal to 1 over 3 instead of x put what now put a y now let us make y the subject we do some analogs it's going to say y is equal to log of what of x 
paste this one over three obey paste nala pa willow kusazo by in manjana kusazo by paste it's in nato na y is equal to log x base was base one over three uka tege lam fund ugut uma ngasa nsuge langit mina u x is equal to but two, one over three is the same as three to the power of negative one, which means log of the power of three to the power of negative y. Remember, one over three is the same as three to the power of negative one. Now, what is happening here? We are saying that the same of the y subject of the formula. It means it's about negative y. Now, negative y and it. So, apply the very same principle. is equal to log x base what now? Base three. I guess check it. If this is the case, so for negative one, it means y is the same as negative log x plus three. If you put a one low, y is equal to log x plus one over three. We are fine and low. y is equal to negative log x plus three. This two is the fine. Ungai palagan jay equation niya ko, o ungai palagan jay equation niya na the inverse. We are going to go and manage. So the inverse of an exponential graph is a log graph. I'm pinned. The inverse of an exponential graph is a log graph, and the inverse of a log graph is going to be what an exponential graph. So if you move from the in, from the exponential to the log, that is you. That is how. That is we must reflect. Sorry about the line. It says y is equal to x. The inverse of the exponent is the log. The inverse of the log is the exponential graph. It means in the exam they can give you a log. Then they will say to you determine the equation of the inverse. So what if we come across the question where you are given now, they will where in you are given something like f of x is equal to log x base 2. And they say to us, determine the inverse of f. Now do you see what is happening? We are given a log graph. So what is the inverse of a log graph? It's an exponential graph. So what is the inverse of this graph? The inverse of this graph will be 2 to the power of x. Because we know if we move from an exponent, we go to a log. And if you move from a log, you go to what now? To your exponent. It means again, if I can give you g of x, which is log x base 1 over 4, and I say to you, give the equation of the inverse of g. What must be the inverse of g? The inverse of g will be 1 over over 4 to the power of what? Of x. If they give you f again, which says negative log x base 5, and they say to you, find the inverse of this. How? How to find the inverse of this now? You reflect along the line, which says y is equal to x. So what, what would be the inverse of f? The inverse of f would be an exponential graph. As of it is, there's a negative. It means it's a bit in 1 over 5. We have to call to our this graph is negative log x base 5. Here, fun. The graph is in log x base 1 over 5. It means the inverse of this graph is that one. 1 over 5 to the power of x. Okay. Why on the inverse, on the inverse functions, we just discussed the inverse of an exponential graph. Let me emphasize this here. If you are given an exponential graph and you are required to give the inverse of an exponential graph, back in your mind you know that the inverse of the exponential graph will be a log graph and vice versa. It means if you are given a log graph, you know that the inverse will be your what now? Will be your exponential. See, Tolaranja and inverse it will reflect along the line which says y is equal to x to get the inverse of all our graphs. What did I say? If the value of a is greater than 1, my exponential graph is increasing. If the exponential graph is increasing, the inverse is also going to be increasing. Now, consider f of x now. If I give you f of x, which says uh, 1 over 5, 
raised to the power of x. Right. Looking at this graph of f, it's clear that this is an exponential graph that has a value of a which is between 1 and what? And the 0. Because the value of a is between 1 and the 0, it means we know that when we sketch this graph, it will be decreasing exponential graph. That is a point e where intercept term is over 18 in a 0 and 1. Let me sketch the inverse of this graph. Change the point, this point built in, this is 0 and 1. Lea is the same as inverse term, so it's 1 and 0. So it's the same as inverse term, it's the same as it's Right. So the graph of f, and this is the graph of what? Of the inverse of f. Where is my line of symmetry? This is my line of symmetry. It is, it is y is equal to x. That is my line of symmetry. Now, bamba. I want us to compare f and its inverse. The graph of f had an asymptote which said y is equal to 0. This asymptote of this graph of f. The graph of f had a range at y is greater than 0. The graph of f had the range at domain, so at x is an element of real numbers. Don't stress. Move y, put x. Move y, put x. Move x, put y. It means, what is x equal to 0? The asymptote of the inverse. What is this x greater than 0 now? It is going to be my domain. So this is the domain now, but here, this was my what? My range. This was my domain, but now I go by the range. So this year, Melug was. What was the equation of f? It was 1 over 5 top of x. But what is the equation of the inverse? The inverse of f equation in your corner will say log x is 1 over 5. Ukumbulu, you can say this is still what? Negative log x base what? Base of a 5. This is the summary really. Now what if you come across a question? What if you come across a question which says, let me write this question here, which says, determine, determine the values, the values of x for which or if this is happening. Uh, this is happening. Right, this is the question. Determine the values of x for which the inverse, the y values of the inverse is less than a negative 1. Now, how to respond to these questions? Check. This y, this is y. In my graph, do I have a point? L versus negative 1. Now, if I look at my graphs, I do not know a point L versus Abanina or negative 1. So, what it means is, let me find this point. I know what is y. The only thing that I do not know is what there is x. Now, what you're going to say, you're going to find the critical point because the critical point is not given to you. Now, how are you going to find the critical point? You are going to let the inverse the negative one and find this critical point remember what is this inverse this inverse is given as what as log x base 1 over 5 to learn the linger and obanina the negative one now how do i move from here because of for x remember this 1 over 5 is, is your what is your base now move out and move around down. i'm going to say x is equal to this one over five is your base then this value negative one becomes your exponent that is how you solve here if you solve here i'm getting a value of x which is going to be a five so what is my critical point the critical point here the value of x is a five when y is a negative one then let us go to that graph of ours if the graph is like you now, the graph is the inverse. I say we inverse it. See, plot, learn your point, the critical point. This critical point is negative 5 and negative 1. It is somewhere there. But what is the question? Who 
give the values of x squared, the y value of inverse is less than negative one. As take it. Now the point lam. Umu bi graphia ki wu plebo kono zawa na ma y values. Amanani kuno negative one. Check up. If we move, we graph it. We And then, the number of values, more classes than negative one, they becoming smaller and smaller. So they becoming less than negative one. But if you move to the left side of five, what is seven two y values? I increase. So what is my solution for that question? It means for us to have more y values which are less than negative one, it means you need to move in this direction. So what is happening to the values of x if you move in this direction? The values of x are getting bigger and bigger. So what must be the value of x then? Therefore, who x male abem kulu guno banina kuno five. So this is my answer there. I'm going to pay the food. What I did here, because I did not know the point, negative one we graphium. So I calculated the critical point. What was my critical point? No matter how to find a critical point, you let the inverse, excuse, you let the inverse be equal to a negative one. Then from there, you must solve for x. And got told x1 move to 5. So what is this critical point? It's saying 5 and the negative 1. Then I went straight to the graph and I plotted the point L to 5 and the negative 1. Then now you must now analyze. The y values must be less than negative 1. Now go to your graph. Move. Start from the point. If you move in this direction, what is happening to the y values of this graph? They are becoming less than negative 1 if you move in this direction. But if you move in this direction, what is happening to the y values? They are becoming bigger than what? A negative 1. But what am I looking for? Y values that are less than negative 1 means I must move in this direction. So what must be the value of x then? The value of x must be greater than what? A 5. Let me change this question and say, what if the question had said, determine the values of x for which now the inverse is greater than or negative one now. The process was still going to be the same. We got the critical point if the critical point is not given. But now what was going to be our solution? You want the y values that are greater than what now? Negative one. So let's go to our graph. The y values that are close to negative one is what taller if you move in this direction. So it means our values of x and j if you move in this direction, they are becoming lesser than what now? Five. But yes, they're becoming lesser than five. But be very careful now. They can only be less than five, but they cannot pass a zero. They cannot be a zero. Why? Because remember here we have x equal to zero, and what is x equal to zero? The inverse. That is our asymptote. It means what is going to be the solution there? Therefore, your x must be less than five. Yes, and greater than what? Two zero. This here is very important. Why am I saying now greater than a zero? Because when x is a zero, we have what now? An asymptote. And this graph, I tolerate from zero to what your left. So this is our solution there. Now that we have discussed the straight line, we have discussed the exponential graph, I want us now to discuss what? The parabola. I want us to discuss the parabola. I want us to discuss the inverse of the parabola now. The parabola that we are going to look at is the parabola that is the standard form f of x is equal to ax squared. For your grade 12, this is the parabola, the inverse of this parabola is discussed at grade 12, 11. Not to say we cannot discuss other parabolas where there are translations as well, but the focus is on this one. Now, before we go into the inverses, I want us to discuss the leading coefficient there. If the value of A is greater than zero, if the value of A is positive, we know that our parabola is going to be facing up. But if the value of a is less than zero is negative we know that our parabola will be facing down so this is very important to note now let us say i give you or we are given f of x which says 2x squared this is my f of x 
and now we are to sketch the graph of f obviously the graph of f we sketch it won't be that difficult because a is positive then you have a graph that is facing up so if you graph like this now let us let us find two points which lie on this graph let us pick x is equal to one so if i put a one here i'm getting a point which is going to say one and a two if i put let me choose another point let's say i put a negative one now if i substitute a negative one here i'm going to get a point which says what now i substitute negative one and i got y as a what as a two now look what is happening here different values of x gives us the same value for what for y it means here yeah, what type of a mapping is observed in this graph this is a many to one so because this is a many to one it means this graph is going to be a function if you draw a vertical line then this graph passes the vertical line test therefore this graph is a function again draw a horizontal line the graph touches the horizontal line two times what it means it means the mapping of this graph is a many to one therefore the graph is a function how to sketch the inverse remember this is f now let us sketch the inverse of f what do we do we interchange we had a point ability zero and zero so we still have that point seven happened to one and two so let me put that to one and two must say we inverse remember what to do is we swap we interchange now let's interchange one and two let's go to two and one so if we put two and one just i want all the reports over somewhere now let's see the point in a little two and one obvious the lap originates zero and zero this has a very cool and it's in lona zero and zero but what about this one cell to ten win verse and the lona again two and what now a negative one so we put them somewhere now now um to be graph here we are going to see graph here is on my lunch let's see the little positive two and negative one but that one is saying two and one now look what is happening now this is the inverse of f as check is the inverse of f a function is the inverse of f a function let us check draw a vertical line the vertical line touches the graph more than once therefore the inverse of f is not going to be a function right so if the question says is the inverse of f a function you are then going to check if i draw a vertical line if the vertical line touches the graph more than once you will then say therefore the graph is not a function explain your answer you can then say the mapping of the inverse is a what it is a one to many it is a one to many remember the mapping of f here was what was a many to one this was the mapping of f so almost as common the inverse in mapping the inverse is a technique it is a color map it is a one two many and we know that a one to many is not a, a function earlier on we discussed ama mapping and ama relation between the domain and the range so if the mapping is a one to many then we say that graph is not going to be a function now remember you are allowed to draw the line of symmetry this is my line of symmetry it's a line of symmetry it's a y is equal to x that is my line of symmetry remember this line this is the line or reflecting i f to obtain what the inverse of what now of f now i want us to determine the equation of the inverse of f determine the equation of the inverse of what of f how do i find the equation of the inverse we know what to do interchange x and y why we put x we x we put y it means we'll have what there we will have x which is what now 2y squared that is the equation of the inverse but now we need to make y the subject of the formula how do i solve for y here divide by 2 divide by 2 if i divide by 2 i am getting y squared which is 1 over 2x if i divide by 2 or you can say x over 2 
Now you can solve by putting what now the square root sign. If I introduce a square root sign, I'm getting y, which is what now plus or minus what the square root of one over two x. Now, Buga, this only happens if the value of x is positive or equal to zero. Imagine if the value of x here was a negative, then this here was going to be what? A negative. What happens if you have a negative value within the square root? Then we say that is imaginary. It is non-real. So it's very important that we always attach this to our equation. This plus or minus is very important as well. When we see our values are positive, we see when our values are negative. So in the, this is the inverse. This is the inverse of f. It is plus or minus the square root of x over 2 moot under when x is greater or equal to 0. Now, let us go to f. If you look at the graph of f, the graph of f has a domain. So for f, the domain of f is saying x is an element of real numbers. This graph of f can take any values for what now? For x. But what is the range of f? Remember the range start from the turning point. means what is our range here? Our range is y is greater or equal to what now? To zero. So if you go to the inverse, you don't stress. Move x, put y. Move y, put x. It means what is this now? Inverse. This is my range. What is this now? This is my domain. But if this was my what? My domain and this was our range. Right. So it's this point we're able to see that if we are now looking at the inverse, we can see that the inverse can only have our values and from zero to x to our values and are positive. That is what you see here. It dominates. Start from zero and move to the right of your cutters and plane. But what about the range? The range of f, the graph of f can take any values for what? For y. Therefore, we are saying the range of f is going to say what? Y is an element of real numbers. If you look at f, f we had a line of symmet, an axis of symmet to f, which said x is equal to zero, and this is our axis of the symmet. It means, what is our x of the symmet when you go to the inverse? It, remove x, put y, y is equal to zero. What is going to be that one now? It is going to be our axis of the symmet. So, to cut this graph into two equal halves, it means the line of symmet must pass here. That is why we have what? y equal to zero is our axis of the symmet. Now, we do realize that the inverse of f is not a function. The inverse of f is not a function. Why is the inverse of f not a function? Because the graph of f touches the vertical line test more than once, or because the mapping of the inverse is a what now? Is a one to many, and we know that if the relation between the domain and the range, or between the input and the output, is a one to many, then that graph is not going to be a function. So what can we do to the graph of f so that the inverse of f becomes a function? What is it that you can do there so that when you scratch the inverse, it depends on a function? So now the question will say to you, how would you restrict f so that the inverse of f becomes a function? How would you restrict f so that the inverse of f becomes what now? A function. So what are you going to say there? So to restrict f so that its inverse becomes a function, in a segment you restrict it domain f. As buge, e graph ka f, e graph emanj. Right? So umangabi graph emanj, we have a point, a secret is a point in the line to minus one and what? And two. But now a palette in the point, in the to one and two. Now, Ugu's inverse ka f, ibe a function. 
we must do one of these two things. It's either you are going to restrict the curve of f. Go with the city ux, I got to create a equal to zero. So if you are restricting, if you are restricting this graph and you are saying x is going to be greater or equal to zero, it means we are saying this is the only part that is fully solid in a graph carbon F. Right. Or we can say x is going to be less or equal to zero. If we say this, what are we saying? We are saying this is the only part that is fully in the solid graph carbon F. Now, little and little the lap, a little negative one and what now? And the two. Now, I see Peggy and Manje. This is the restriction, this is the graph. So, what is going to be the inverse of this graph now? This point here is still zero, zero, so the point is still there. But this point, any two, one and two, so the two and one. The point the two and one, single bear and a pair. So, if you have, have a point the two and one, it means inverse here, Mrs. Wambaranja and Manje. This is Zohambaranj. So we graph a more like this. With a point in Tinlapa, in it is two and one. Now, do you realize that this is my F and this is now the inverse of what? Of F. Is the inverse of F now, in this case, a function? Then the answer must say yes. Why is this inverse now a function? Because the inverse now is going to touch the vertical line test only once. Or we say because the mapping of this graph of, of the inverse is now going to say one to one. It means if you choose this restriction when now, what is going to happen? The point which says zero, zero, zero and zero is still, is still there. But this one that, had say, that was saying negative one and the two is now going to say what? Two and the negative one. Inverse here called this is And you will have that point which says two and the negative one. And that is my point. Where is my line of symmetry? This is my line of symmetry. Till, till y is equal to x. But lap, this is my line of symmetry. Which says y is equal to x. So this is how you restrict the domain of f so that the inverse becomes a function. Now, it means for this case here, the equation of f is going to say for this one f of x is 2x squared right but now we must attach the restriction because now if you say f of x equal to 2x squared and this is only happening this graph is only there when the values of x are what now are positive starting from a zero it means this is sure x is great or equal to zero so it means if i give you something like this and i say to you is the inverse of f a function without giving the graph it means you must see because now there's this restriction it means Means the inverse of f is now going to be a function because the graph the inverse of f is going to touch the vertical length test only once but if this is not there and i say to you is the inverse of f a function then the answer is no why is it a no because if a man j it means the mapping of this graph is going to be a one to many therefore the inverse the inverse of the the, the mapping of the inverse is going to be a one to many therefore the inverse is not a, a function but if it's like this then it becomes what now a function now if you look at the inverse this inverse has the positive values of what of y and this one has only the negative values of y and the zero so between this one as this equation of the inverse abc totally the plus uh, the plus or minus it means the plus part is the equation for this one this is the square root of what the positive square root of what now of half x but this one that has y values that are negative the inverse here is going to say what negative now why am i taking the negative one because the y values here are what now are negative so it's negative square root of what now of half x got that but this can only exist if x is greater or equal to zero. And here, yeah, this is only possible if x is greater or equal to one. Now, equal to zero. Now, I want us to look at the graph of f of x, which is negative 2x squared now. Now, because we can see that the leading coefficient here is negative, 
it means you expect a parabola that is facing down. So now, what is going to happen? It means my parabola will be facing down. So this is the shape of my parabola. Let me say, what if x is 1? If I put 1 there, I'm getting a point which says 1 and a minus 2. If I put a negative 1, I'm getting a point which says negative 1 and a negative 2. Now, is the graph of f a function? The answer should be yes, the graph of f is a function. Why? Because the mapping of this graph here is a many to one. Or we can say the graph of f touches the vertical line test only once. Now, let us see. Let us get the inverse here on the same set of x's. We know how to get the inverse. We interchange what now? x and y. It means this point, a bit is 0 and what now? And, and 0. If I sketch the inverse now, I must interchange. It means the point I'm going to sketch is okay, negative 2 and 1. Now, where is x negative 2? Negative 2 is here. Where is x y 1? It's somewhere here. So it means I will have a point here and it's negative 2 and 1. This one was saying negative 1 and negative 2. So that would be the point on the, uh, on the inverse. It will say negative 2 and what now? And 1. So that point and negative 1. So negative 2 and negative negative one so this point could be some way so now to see that if you sketch the inverse this is going to be your inverse so that is my inverse now now if you look at the inverse of f is the inverse of f a function then the answer is a no why is the inverse of f not a function because the inverse of f will touch the vertical line test more than once or you can say the inverse of f is not a function because the mapping of the inverse of f is a what? Is a one to many, and we know that a one to many is not a, a function. It means now we must be able to restrict the domain of f so that the inverse becomes a, a function. Now there are two possible restrictions that you can do here. The first restriction will be to say and now x are be greater or equal to zero. So if you make x be greater or equal to zero, what is going to happen to your graph of f? Remember, this is my graph f. It means this is the only part that I'm saying it must be there, go f. But if you decide and say, I'm making my restriction to say x must be less or equal to zero. If that is my restriction, what is going to happen uh, with my f, then the graph of f, the only part that is left is going to be that one. This is f. Now, if you draw the inverse of f, the inverse of f, you see this point, a bit 1 and minus 2, but it went there, you have to one man, negative 2 and what, and 1. It means for this part, the inverse will be this, this side. Remember here, we have what now? We have a line of symmetry. What is my line of symmetry? y is equal to x. But here, I have this graph, M Nandaya, where is going to be the inverse of f. So remember, this is the inverse of what? Of f. Then this is my f. So if this is my f, remember there's a point there. And what is the point there? The point says negative 2 and negative 1. It means my inverse is going to be here. And that is going to be my inverse. Right. Okay, now, here with this one, my line of symmetry, nah, yeah, y is equal to x. This is my line of symmetry. If the question says now, determine the equation. Now, can you say that before we even give the equation, the inverse is now a function. Why? Because the vertical line test is going to test the inverse only once. Now, if I want to, if they say now, give the equation of the inverse of f, we know the procedure now. To give the equation of the inverse, what do we do? We reflect along the line. What is the line? The line says y is equal to x. So instead of y, we are going to put what there? x. And instead of x, we are going to put what? y. And this is going to be our equation. But now, we must make y the subject of the formula. How do I make y the subject of the formula here? First thing, divide by negative 2. 
If I drop a negative 2, I'm getting y squared, which is what? Negative 1 over 2x. So I can say which is negative x over 2. Now, how to solve for y? You don't use a square root sign. And you'll have y, which is plus or minus square root of what? Negative 1 over 2x. Now, attach the restriction there. You see this part here is negative, right? Because this here is negative. It means ux must be negative, so that this thing becomes a positive. Then you say ux must be negative, or x can be what now? A zero. So it means this is now what? The equation of the inverse. This plus or minus sign is saying, in your inverse, you have y values that are positive, but also you have y values that are what? That, that are negative. It means for this restriction, inverse, the equation of the inverse is obtained. So for this restriction, the equation of the inverse will be the one that has y values that are what? Now, that are positive. It means the inverse here is going to say positive square root of negative 1 over 2x when x is less or equal to 0. But if you look at this one, the inverse for this one is going to say negative. Why negative? Because for this inverse, the y values here are what? Are negative. So this is going to be negative square root of what? Negative 1 over 2x where, what are the values of x here? They are negative. Where x is less or equal to or 0. So the plus or minus part is very important here because it tells you if this is negative, then the y values are negative. If it is positive, the y values are what now? Are positive. Okay. If you look at f and its inverse, if you look at f and its inverse, the graph of f that I'm referring to is the graph of f of x that says negative 2x squared with no restriction. The inverse of f that I'm referring to is the one that says plus or minus the square root of negative 1 over 2x where x is less or equal to 0. For the graph of f, what was the domain? If you look at the graph of f, it begins on, but the graph of f can take all values of what? Any value of x, right? It means the domain here, you're going to say x is an element of real numbers. But what is the range for f? If you look at the graph of f, the graph of f only exists from zero, the origin, going down. It means the range is going to say y is less or equal to what now? Zero. That is going to be my range. What is the axis of the symmetry there? My axis of the symmetry is going to say x is equal to a zero. This is my axis of the symmetry. It means now if I move from f of x to the inverse now, remove this x and put a y, we have y is an element of real numbers. But now, this is not going to be your domain inverse. So by any image here now, range. If you remove y here and put x, this is now going to be what now? Your domain. If you remove x and put a y, then this is going to be what now? Your axis of the symmetry. So this is very important to note. You must be able to give the domain and the range of both f and what now? And it inverse. Now, let us see a question. Let's say you have a question that says determine the values of x if the inverse of f is less than or equal to a negative 2. If the inverse of f is less than or equal to a negative 2. Now, let us go back to our graph. This is our graph, right? The question is asking us to find the values of x for which the y values were inverse. So the focus is on this graph, the inverse, right? Are what? Are less than or equal to a negative 2. Where is the negative 2? A negative 2 is here. This is the point there. 
no sorry it's here this is the point not this one this is the point where we have y over an L negative 2. now we want the y values there to be what now to be less than equal to negative 2. it means the y values if you move in this direction what is happening to the y values they are becoming smaller and smaller so it means where there is a yellow that is where we have a solution for that question so what must be the answer here then my answer must say where x where x is what now if you move in that direction what is happening to the values of x they're becoming smaller as well so it means x must be less than or equal to what what is the value of x in that point negative one so this is going to be my answer